Hey y'all, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some things from Melody Susie. Melody Susie was kind enough to send on over to me two sets of their press-on nails. Uh, two different designs. As of right now, both of these, let me flip them back over, both of these are on sale on their website for $9.99. I think they're regularly like $12.99. But I also have a 12% off discount code, which is Terra12. I'll have it up here, as well as links to both of the both of these designs down in the description box below. So I have two different designs of press-ons. Now, if you're brand new here, maybe you don't know this, I do not do press-ons. So when I apply these two different designs, they will literally be the very first two press-on designs that I have ever applied to my own hands. We just had a Memorial Day weekend. So I was digging in the dirt. I was getting all my damn, you know, flowers planted, that kind of a thing. My right hand is a right mess, honestly. And so am I, so am I, because tonight was pretty much the very last episode of Ted Lasso. And I'm so, I just bawled my freaking eyeballs out for like two hours and I can't stand it. But here I am, I'm totally gonna miss you, Ted Lasso. Please don't leave, please don't leave my life. But uh, yeah, so here I am. I've never uh, used press-ons. So you're gonna get my 100% absolute honest opinion on these. So I'm gonna try to apply uh, one of these uh, press-on designs onto my right hand. And I'm gonna put up a little graphic right here it's gonna give you all the name of this because I do not remember. It's something about mermaid, something about mermaid. Do not know. This one is something about shell, enchanted shell. I don't know. I cannot remember. So I plan to apply one of these, this one right here mainly, onto these nails. This one I will apply, but I'm not going to film it. I'm just gonna show y'all the photographs and how it's gonna look on my cute little nubbies. So obviously the instructions here are on the back. So I'm pretty sure this only comes with the little sticky tabs. If you're using nail tabs, you can peel them off and most definitely reuse them. So let's see what the heck we have in this little kit. So right off the rip, I have nine. <gasps> I have nine pretty nails just staring at me. Ooh, look at this. This is so pretty, so pretty. Has some little glittery nails. And forgive me because I don't know uh, how many comes in here. How many nails, how many nails, how many nails, Melody Susie? I don't know and I don't maths. So, but it is gonna come with a little wooden sort of cuticle pusher that has the, the angled end and a little pointy end on the other end. You're gonna get a little uh, nail file, which is probably, is it double-sided? Yep, because I see blue and that's pink. And you're gonna have a little alcohol pad as well as some little sticky tabs. But let's get on in here and look at these tips, you guys. I am going to turn those over. Okay, so I think one thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out how you wanna sort of map out your design because you, of course, you have five fingers on one hand, but you're gonna have multiple designs. So this one is like a clear with some sort of uh, shifty, zhuzhy glitter and some little, I don't know, what are those little white lines or something? And the same here, except your base color is gonna be pink. I will say though, this is rough. I know y'all can hear that, okay? Yeah, this is not a super smooth sort of gel design. So I would have to do probably a top coat to smooth that down. And then we have the gorgeous glitter. What you're gonna wanna do is map out your design. Like, do you want your entire mani to be clear? Do you want your entire mani to be gold? Do you want your entire mani to be pink? Do you want all glitters? What the heck you gonna do? So obviously the first thing you're gonna wanna do is size out your tips. 
you do want them to fit sidewall to sidewall. And if a tip does not fit your nail sidewall to sidewall, drop it, pick up another one and try a different tip. Uh, I feel as though the biggest issue that I have personally with press on sets like this is because basically you have four or five different designs, maybe three, four, I don't know, uh, in this kit, if you're going for a Skittle design, your sizes are going to be limited. You know, you don't have five or ten tips that are um, all the same design, but different sizes. You know what I'm saying? So, unless you want to have two tips that are the same right next to each other, then your options are going to be limited on sizing. However, you can file these. So, you can file the cuticle area to fit your cuticle area. You can file the side walls, you know, to, to really to get a customized fit for your, the shape of your own nail beds. So the middle nail, the, the chunky, oh, and also they do have sizes here. Um, I do show you that. But um, the big, the one in the middle, the middle nail, the chunky glitters, I should have filed the side walls of this tip before I put it on. But I was dumb, and I don't know what this one is doing here. I don't know what I don't know why I'm pointing at that. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, or if I had plans for that particular tip. Uh, so these are the five that I'm going with. So I'm, let me just pull out my little the the rest of the accoutrement. And the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, cut your natural nail. The first thing I did. Let me just put it that way. I wanted to trim down my already nubby nubs, and just trim all my nails and I pr probably should have sped this up for y'all okay so back to what I was saying because sizes are limited the designs are limited um, and because I was a goober oh you guys got to watch this hold on yeah so after you cut down your nails you do want to push back your cuticles and it may look like I'm being rough here I've, I'm really not push back your cuticles and then you want to scrape off as much of the dead cuticle uh, protein growth that you have on your nail bed because you want a nice little fit. You could also, you could glue these on if you, you know, wanted longer, uh, more longevity. But of course, I immediately wanted to pop these off because I wanted to try on the second, the second design that was sent to me by Melody Susie. So yeah, get your cuticles pushed back, scrape off the dry, <laughs> the dead protein growth. Y'all gotta see this. So I'm scraping away, and all of a sudden. I literally had, oh, did you see that? Let's see it again. Oh, look at that dead skin. Oh, just flying off. That cracked me up. I don't even know how the hell I noticed that when I was editing, but I did. Oh, let me turn off. Okay, so then you're going to want to buff up the surface of your natural nail. Take your little alcohol wipe and wipe off all of your dust. And uh, yeah, so you're ready to go. You're ready to go. You're going to want to take your little tabby tabs and size them out. So I'm going to use the smallest one, of course, for my tiny microscopic uh, pinky nail bed. And here I'm going to struggle for a sec because there is a plastic little sheet that covers these. Like the, the glue tabs, the sticky tabs themselves are between two pieces of plastic. There you go, girl. Peel that off, you goober. And now I can finally get to my stinking little tab here. So you're going to press, you're going to rub. I probably did this for maybe 10 seconds. And then peel off the little uh, film, the little film. So basically, y'all know or may not know, that these little sticky tabs basically act as like double-sided tape. So take your tip. I put it almost right up to my cuticle. And then once I press it down a little bit, I push it back into my cuticle area. And... Uh, Lots of pressing, lots of pushing. You just want to make sure you get a nice, firm, little fit. Literally, all these designs are beautiful. I don't know what my dog's doing. He's just wandering around here. Bobo, go lay down. Yeah, these are all beautiful. And the directions say not to touch water, not to touch any water in between, or I, I'm sorry, within two hours of applying these. Okay, and here's the big fat tip that I really should have filed. Ugh, any boobs, uh, but I didn't. I mean, I'll file it in just a minute, but um, I went swimming with these. I popped into the pool 
almost immediately after I put these on. And I was in the pool for a couple hours. So you can see a couple of these uh, tips have like a bird beak type of shape going on. But because you can file these, I managed to get them into a shape that I preferred much more than the bird beak. And I'm going to use this little file in the beginning. And I'm going to get uh, the pinky and the ring finger. I think I start to file the ring finger. And then I just realized, man, um, not that they're, not that this little file that comes in this kit is poor quality. It's just tiny, and I keep going over the same area, and I kind of kind of wore it out. So I just said, oh, God, I can't do this anymore, so let me just get rid of you. And I moved on to my big boy and uh, finished up. Finished up getting my shapes. Yeah, see, uh, I did try to file the side wall of this chunky boy with the big thing. Yeah, I should have done it before that, before I put that tip on, but I didn't. And so now I'm just going to finish up with a little bit of cuticle oil. And here I am in the pool. I was like, let me take a picture. Look how beautiful all these are. Love, love, love this design. Again, this is the mermaid, uh, whatever the heck it's called. And then here I was finishing up the uh, shell, dazzling shell, I think it's called. Yeah, don't forget, you can save 12%. Oh, here I am. My nails and my weenie dog. Save 12% at MelodySusie.com using code Terra12. I'll have links to both of these down in the description box below. But that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.